Hey guys, welcome to part three of my counting particle series. If you haven't seen the first two videos, which are labeled videos 15 and video 16, I suggest you go watch those first. Today we're gonna to be talking about molecular mass. Let's get into today's video. First, let's go over last week's practice problem. The molar mass of helium is 4 grams. That means one mole of helium weighs 4 grams. Moles and mass have a proportion, so if the mass changes, the moles change with it. Now, we just multiply one mole per 4 grams by the amount we have, 6.46 grams, to figure out how many moles there are. The grams unit will cancel out, and we get 1.615 moles of helium in 6.46 grams. We can take this one step further and find out how many atoms of helium that is. There are 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of an element in a mole, as you probably remember from the last video. That, multiplied by the amount of moles we have, should tell us how many atoms there are. In this case, there are 3.729 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. That means that 6.46 grams of helium is equal to 1.615 moles, which is equal to 3.729 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. Now let's talk about molecular mass. Molecular mass is the mass of a molecule, pretty self-explanatory. It's the sum of the atomic masses in a molecule. There isn't much to know about this conceptually, so let's just do a couple problems to check our understanding. First, let's calculate the molecular mass of sulfur dioxide, which is SO2. S, or sulfur, has an atomic mass of 32 AMU. O, or oxygen, is 16 AMU. Keep in mind, however, that there's two oxygen atoms, so we have to multiply its mass by two. Add these two together and you get the atomic mass, which in this case is about 64 AMU. Let's take this one step further. Say I want to find out how many moles are in 6.07 grams of CH4. Right now we have two different units, so let's find a way so that we can use grams to find moles. CH4 has a molecular mass of 16. Since carbon is 12 AMU and H is 1 AMU each times 4 atoms. That means one mole of CH4 is equal to 16 grams. Then we multiply that by the amount we have, 6.07 grams. This will cause the grams to cancel out and we're left with the moles, which is 0.379 moles. Finally, I've got the hardest example yet. This will require you to think about everything we've learned these past three videos. How many hydrogen atoms are present in 25.6 grams of urea, or NH22CO, if the molecular mass of urea is 60.06 grams? Try to think of all the different conversions and ratios you can make with these numbers, and numbers you can find on the periodic table. Write your answer in the comments and I'll answer it next week. Let's review. Molecular mass is the mass of a molecule. To find this, you just have to add the atomic masses of all the atoms within that molecule. That's pretty much all you need to know about it. Then you just need to know how to find it and apply it in mathematical equations, just like in the problems we did today. It might be difficult at first, but soon you realize it's just addition and multiplication. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos every week.